Hey guys, another Viking 82 here, back to show off some more plunder that I have acquired here recently. Um, got a couple packages in the mail today, and um, I still got a bunch of stuff that I'm waiting on, but I've got enough here, I think, to show off, you know, make a pretty good size update. Um, I'm actually going to be going out of town this coming Friday. I'm going to be hitting up one of the CD stores that I only get to about once a year, 13th Floor Music in Seymour, Indiana. So I'm going to be taking some stuff in there to trade in for store credit and uh, see what kind of goodies he has for me there. But um, yeah, the first stuff I want to show actually come from my buddy Corey, a.k.a. Hales and Horrors. He actually uh, had a contest uh, going here recently. Actually had a couple of them. And uh, I only entered one because, um, while I did want the other one, the addition that he was giving away of the CD was not the one that I wanted. And I know that sounds stupid, but hey, you know, I did enter one, and I usually don't win <laughs> hardly any contest. You know, Runner JMA's contest that I won a little while back was like the first one that I've ever entered here on YouTube that I won, and uh, Corey's was the second. But uh, he was giving away a book <coughs> excuse me, that... I've actually been wanting to read for a long time. I remember when it first came out, there were so many divided opinions on this book. People were saying it was, you know, full of lies, and others saying, no, it's, you know, it's pretty accurate, and blah, blah, blah. And I just never got around to buying it. So, uh, when I saw he was giving this away in a contest, I entered, and I was very shocked to see I won. But uh, he ended up sending me The Lords of Chaos, new edition book. Um, yeah. Really, really excited to have this. I'm definitely looking forward to going through this finally and seeing what all the hubbub is. And uh, he also uh, recently was putting up a lot of stuff for trade, and I uh, saw a 10-inch vinyl that he had that I really wanted. He had gotten it used, I think, somewhere in a used store, and I've been wanting this for a while, and I made him an offer of something that he wanted, and he gladly took it, and... Uh, yeah, so now I have the Dark Funeral, Teach Children to Worship Satan, 10-inch vinyl. Very excited to have this. As you can see, like I said, since it was in a used section, it's a little worse to wear. The vinyl could probably use just a little bit of cleaning, but as, overall, I'm very happy with this. So, Corey, thank you so much for that, man. All right. The first CD I'm going to show is by a band that I recently discovered through um, All Hail Hell's latest video. She uh, showed this band and another band that I believe is related to it and um, I ordered all the CDs because I ch you know I checked out both bands I loved what I heard so I made sure I went ahead and purchased them and this came from a place called Appalachian Noise Records um, out of uh, Ohio I do believe is where the package came from but uh, what I picked up is uh, the projectionist with the Gallo Forest eulogy this is just a little um, five-song EP it's on a pro CDR, but just some fucking amazing sounding black metal. Definitely check this out. And uh, a couple of other things that I picked up are um, CDs from some Polish black metal bands. Uh, I started. I've actually almost finished Dial Patterson's latest book, um, I think it's Evolution of the Cult, Volume One. And uh, he spent a good chunk of the first part of the book talking about the uh, Polish black metal scene. And uh, I started checking out bands while I was on vacation when I could get a good enough signal. And a couple of them that I found were, uh, first is uh, Zantatal, which uh, this is the uh, Glory for Centuries, Cult of the Black Pentagram, and thus spake Zaratustra. Sorry. And this is basically a two CD collection of, um, sorry about the glare, still working on this, there we go. Uh, like I said, two CD collection, which pretty much has all the material that this band ever put out. It was a two person project, one man, one woman, and uh, if I remember right from what I read, they were actually a couple. So I guess you can say they're kind of like the first you know, power couple of black metal, at least in Poland. Because um, these guys are considered one of the first black metal bands from Poland, and if I remember right, they also said that um, the vocalist, whose name I completely forget off the top of my head, uh, was like one of the first female extreme metal vocalists, first in black metal, so very cool stuff. I only listened to a little bit of their material, so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, delving into this a little bit more. And the other band that I uh, 
check out and I fucking love, I still need to get their second album, is uh, Masterfall, with For a Glory of All Evil Spirits Rise for Victory. Again, really awesome. Polish black metal, these guys are amazing. Um, I've actually got the uh, vinyl version of this coming from Nuclear War Now. And as I said, I still need to uh, track down their second release. <clears throat> All right. Next up is an order that I got from Elegy Records, which is based out of uh, New Jersey, I do believe. And uh, they had a lot of cool stuff that I just, you know, I decided to go through. And I think I want to say some of it was marked down, or at least, you know, the prices weren't too bad. I think they're like usually eight to ten dollars per CD. Some are a little bit more, but overall, usually ten dollars is around the usual for the CDs. And what was cool is they sent me a couple uh, extra goodies. They gave me a Funer Brahm sticker, as well as a sticker for, hold on, I got this the right way up, the uh, Ukrainian band Moloch, which uh, is a band that I've been wanting to check out for a while anyway. And uh, I thought this was really fucking cool too. They also sent me a little uh, strip patch of uh, Moloch. So that was really cool. First CD I got from there, though, is uh, one that I've been trying to track down since it came out, and for some reason I just could never find it. That's uh, Bella by Burzum. So I finally completed the uh, kind of black metal version of Burzum's catalog. So very excited to give this a listen. Next is uh, Raven Moon Sanctuary with Winter Desolation of Death. A band that I had no clue about until I saw them on this uh, site and I listened to a little bit of this album and I really dug it, so I went ahead and picked it up. Another cool black metal band. And uh, this one, oh, I was so excited to see they had this in for only $10 because other places that I've looked for it has either been out of stock or it was through sellers that wanted way too much money for it for whatever reason. But I finally completed my uh, collection for Bloodstained Dusk by picking up Continuance of Evil. Really good black metal from, um, I know it's here in the U.S., but I can't remember where exactly they are from. I know that, uh, I believe it was their guitarist or vocalist was killed. I think their vocalist was killed in a car wreck, so they pretty much disbanded. They released one last album that had uh, Pest formerly of Gorgoroth, and um, obtained enslavement on vocals, and then they pretty much split up after that. So I've been looking for this one for quite some time, so I'm really happy to uh, finally have it. Also picked up Shining with Within Deep Dark Chambers. Very excited to check this out, because I hear early Shining, at least from a lot of people's perspective, is some of his best material. So, yeah. Can't wait to give this a spin. And the next couple are by a band that are, well, it's a one-man project, but a lot of people, I don't know, there's a lot of people that hate him, they hate his music, but I'm one of those ones that I just, I love pretty much everything I've heard from him so far. And that's uh, Streeborg, Within the Heart of the Rainforest and Through the Forest to Spiritual Enlightenment. As I said, really cool one-man black metal from, uh, I want to say New Zealand, I'm pretty sure. I remember mean, seeing the uh, one-man metal uh, documentary featuring him and uh, Jeff Whitehead and Scott from Zaster, and That was actually where I first heard about him, and I started checking out his material. And like I said, a lot of people don't like his music, and I don't know why, because I think he makes some pretty awesome uh, black metal. But I also picked up uh, The Foreboding Silence. Very cool stuff. There's the man himself. They also had a couple of uh, compilation CDs there, which I believe are like demo compilations and stuff like that. So eventually I will get around to uh, picking those up. Finally got me another Drowning the Light CD. This is uh, Oceans of Eternity. Canyon, I know you're probably going to be watching this. I told you I was going to have some pretty awesome shit, and I knew you would uh, probably get very excited when I showed some Drowning the Light. Yeah, for some reason, you know, most places that I look for uh, Drowning the Light, 
they usually have only a select few, and they're usually all the ones that I already have. So it's gr great to see some place that had something other than what I've already got. All right, and the last one is I didn't think this album was actually ever put out on CD because it was a blind buy from um, I want to say it was from Dread Records, and I bought the tape and. Um, turned out to be some really awesome Greek uh, NSBM, so yeah, a little sketch here to end the video, but um, I saw uh, LG Records had the CD version, I was like, holy shit, I didn't realize there was a CD, and I immediately added it to the cart, that is uh, Vodos with From the Corpse Gate, as I said, killer, killer, Greek black metal NSBM, you know, if you don't mind a little sketchiness in your black metal, definitely check these guys out they are really fucking good so yeah that is going to be it thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and uh hopefully uh i'll have another video either a review if i have time up this week and if not then next week i'll try to get up um, a couple more videos definitely i want to do another update because by then most of my stuff should be here a good chunk of it so yeah as I said, that's going to do it. I'm going to quit rambling. i got a lot of stuff to get done now. So thank you guys again so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.